When I was a child in the 80s, I spent countless Sundays in Crystal Palace Park, watching hordes of people race their remote controlled cars in the custom built race course they had there at the time. I never had one myself, but back then it was something new, fresh and exciting. And I'll never forget the high pitched sound they would make zipping across the surface, or the shattering sound of plastic when someone would lose control and see their expensive gadget smash into pieces. Despite never having owned a remote control car of that calibre, they continued to fascinate me. So when Revolt was announced, I instantly felt the sense of fun come back to me and I knew it would be a day one pickup. If you watched my N64 beta project episode of Tamiya Racing or Mini Racers, as it would be known, you'll know the N64 wasn't shy about getting involved in some RC action. The problem that was with the game being a multi-platform release on both PC, PlayStation 1, N64 and later the Dreamcast, it was always a tough call to tell which version would be the best. Well at least on the consoles anyway. Clearly the PC version is the most superior. Given the power of PCs in comparison to consoles of the time that was a no brainer. But what may surprise you though is that the game developed such a cult following that the community still supports the game to this day. There are mods, packs and community enhanced versions and the online multiplayer still packs in quite a crowd of dedicated gamers. But landing on store shelves in 1999 for the Nintendo 64 was this unique racer that really divides opinion. The basic premise of the game is that you race through real world tracks using your chosen RC car. Along the way you can pick up power ups and enhancements for your car as you battle your way to the finish line. If you're thinking that this sounds just like another combat racing game, well you aren't far wrong. The basic gameplay elements are all there, but it's the execution where the game begins to fall down. Perhaps the biggest problem with this version of the game though isn't its controls. You'll know by now that I'm a big fan of racing games, heck I've reviewed enough of them. And one thing that stands out about Revolt is just how pesky those cars are to handle. Everything is responsive, but often too responsive. The slightest touch of your analogue stick can send your car hurtling across the tracks. This can be limited to an extent by which type of drive you select, be it front wheel, rear wheel or 4x4, but the basic feel isn't quite tight enough for me personally. One way to combat this is to turn off the game's medium resolution mode. With the expansion pack enabled you can play the game in this great looking mode, but as soon as anything moves on screen the frame rate hits rock bottom and gives the overall look of the game a stutter and this magnifies the sensitive controls. Even with the expansion pack off, I'd still say that this is a great looking game though. You can tell that the developers tried to not only make the textures look sharp, but also the level design is imaginative and fits perfectly within the theme of the game. Imagine racing through a toy store, a western styled ghost town, on a cruise ship deck or even in a simple street. The size and scale of the environments is impressive and gives you a great sense of perspective when racing what are essentially toys. There are 13 tracks to choose from and some have multiple routes to take. At times they can often feel difficult to navigate, but after a few practice runs you should be able to memorise them quite quickly. If you've had enough of the pre-built tracks, you can head over to the create a course feature where you can build your own courses. You can add jumps, tight turns and crazy layouts, and it's quite a simple tool to use meaning that you won't get tired of trying to find new ways to intensify your racing experience. There are also 28 cars to unlock, all with different attributes, and when you get to the higher power cars you get a great sense of speed and you often feel that you're just on the verge of losing control at any given turn. One of my favourite aspects of the game though is its audio. Pretty much all of the tracks, effects and themes are clear, very catchy and fit the high tempo of the game's on screen action. The multiplayer suffers the same problems as the main game in terms of frame rate and if you have a new friend to the game they will struggle to navigate the courses given the small screen real estate they'll be using. The weapon and power up system is also unbalanced in both single player and multiplayer modes. If you are getting this to be your next multiplayer battle game you'll be disappointed as unlike say Mario Kart where weapons play a key part in the race outcomes, any experienced racer in Revolt can recover in seconds and have little issues in shaking off the mixed bag of weapons. So Revolt, it's a tough N64 game to recommend. Like many of us retro gamers we will have other consoles which the game is available on and so personally if you want a console version of Revolt then the Dreamcast version is the way to go. It improves on the issues found in this game as well as delivering the best visuals and frame rate. 
but if you're able to get the PC version of the game, then you can enjoy playing the best version of the game overall, with the added benefits of having mods to install and play with. Despite being almost perfectly set up for a sequel, after the release of the game things took a turn for the worse, and so we never got the quick sequel many of us expected. A version of the game was in development for the original Xbox under the working title Revolt Live, which, as the name suggests, was due to take advantage of the then unreleased Xbox Live service. The rights to the game were snapped up by WeGo Interactive in 2010, and phone versions of the game were released on most app stores with, you'd guessed it, a huge number of in-app purchases. Finally, in 2013, the PC version was released on GOG digitally, which we used the community version they had developed up to version 1.2, but this was pulled down just a few months later at the request of the WeGo Interactive developers. With so many versions to play, it's really over to you. I want to know how you remember this game, no matter which version or system it was on. Like me, were you eagerly awaiting the launch of this title, only to be somewhat underwhelmed by the finished article? Or were you one of the lucky ones who snagged the PC version and had vast amounts of fun joining communities such as those at Revolt Race and RV House. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, and until next time.